Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is the review of the Capita Indoor Survival. This board features Capita's Park V1 camber profile, which is traditional camber to about four centimeters before the end of the side cut, where it just goes a little flat. So basically, it's traditional camber. You're gonna have snap and pop. You do have to load it up to get spring out of this board and to drive it. This board is available in six sizes, 150, 152, 154, 156, 158, and 160. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with zero wind, warmer temps, the snow was soft and fast, icy and fast, I got into some pow that was like really heavy, wind loaded, like sun baked, chunder pow, kind of everything in between and I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my Rome Black Label bindings. Okay, so this board has a twin middle of the road park flex, much like many other boards I've reviewed. What is slightly different is the flex in the tips. It's softer till it hits those titanal struts, then it stiffens back up through the insert pack and gets a little bit softer in the middle with a moderate amount of torsional flex, but nothing overwhelming. This board is very lively and you feel everything. Like all vibrations resonate right through the titanal strut right underfoot, you feel everything. When you're going through rutted out terrain, like your knees will take a hammering as you bend and just pump through everything. So if you want a really lively board and not a damp board, this is kind of it. This is a board for someone that knows how to load up traditional camber. There's a lot of drive into this board, so you're really gonna push down and when you do, it's gonna rebound and pop right back up. It's a really snappy board. And there's a sweet spot right at the end of those titanal struts, right where the flat section is, that when you load the camber and pop, it really rebounds. You're gonna just be able to send it to the moon when you want to. You really do have to load it aggressively though. You gotta be prepared for that. Bring your A game. If you're hitting a side hit, just understand that you gotta load it up. When it comes to jumps, this board sends them with ease and you'll find yourself going past the sweet spot. You can tranny find just about any jump you're hitting. It, this board is just meant to be in the air. When it comes to buttering and jibbing, a little bit of speed is key, as well as knowing where to muscle it. The sweet spot is not immense in the tip and the tail, but when you get your weight way out over it, it'll lock in and hold, and then when you go to pop out of it, it's going to spring and do exactly what you want. This is a board that, when it locks in, it locks in exceptionally well. You'll notice that on jibs. You're in a tail press, you're holding it all the way to the end of that feature and then popping right off. Same thing with a nose press. And having camber through most of the board, it really hugs a rail and just locks in. You feel very secure on it and you know you're gonna slide it with no problem. So how does this board carve? Well, on really icy, wind-blown stuff, it's not really secure. I mean, it'll get on edge and you can feel it, but it does that thing where it kind of rolls, where it's not fully engaging. It's kind of just slipping out a little bit. But on softer snow, it locks in. You can do tight, quick carves. You're gonna notice there's a lot of drive off that tail. When you're pushing into the camber, you can slingshot it out of a turn and it'll just snap and rebound. It's only on that super firm, icy shit that it didn't seem to grip. Other than that, board will rip a turn if you need it to. Short, quick ones, long, hard, drawn out ones. It is nimble edge to edge. You'll notice that you got enough torsional flex to just twist the board and transition from toe to heel as needed. So who's this board for? The camber loving park guy. Someone that wants a lot of camber, a lot of pop, and a lot of snap from their board, and understands how to ride traditional camber. So sometimes when you ride a board and it's got new additives put inside it, you never really notice it and it rides the same. The Indoor Survival is not that board. Those titanal struts really change the ride of this board. They make it a lot more lively, they give it a lot more snap, and it feels a little more rigid underfoot, but you still have that torsional flex. This, this board was a blast to ride like for popping off anything. You hit a roller or a side hit, you can just snap and send it to the moon. It's still playful enough in the park that you can have fun with it. it there's a lot of drive in this board. I mean, comparable boards. The Interior Plane Project Hanali. The Ride Burnout. The Rome Mod or Mod Stale. Depends which one you really want there. This has been my review of the Capita Indoor Survival. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And 
If you'd really like to support us and you want to see us just grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.